Trevor, how big could Tuesday night's win be for the club? Yeah, of course, you know, it was a long time coming and you could, you know, sense the relief in the change room after. It was massive and then to see the results at obviously Hartlepool, but I think that was probably their easiest game in, in the run-in. So for them to only get a point, you know, it sort of added the ice into the cake for us and, you know, it was great, great relief and, uh, you know, we've always said, you know, we need that one win, hopefully to get the shackles off and, you know, it's up to us now to go and kick on. A couple of times we've done it this season, we've got that win and we haven't seemed to kick on. So hopefully, you know, we've got it at the right time and, you know, if we get three points on Saturday, it'll just make it look even more, even more important. And a victory by two clear goals as well. Just how much does that just sort of make life a little bit easier for yourselves and almost, if you like, show everyone the way? Yeah, you know, it was first time, well, even Tram Mayer would beat them too. Obviously, the FA Cup against Swindon was a bit of a, you know, a freak result. But in the league, I think Tram Mayer was the only other one. We won by two clear. We beat them 2-0. And uh, it wasn't even that comfortable because we were under the cosh a bit, you know. But on Tuesday night, it was just like so different because 3-1 up. There was only one team that looked like scoring again. That was it. You know, we were so, so much on the front foot. And, you know, it was really comfortable. Obviously, goal difference can play a big part. And uh, you know, win by two clear goals. You know, it says a lot about the performance. Matty Taylor came back into the side as well. Does that sort of familiarity that you've got with him and Troy in front of you does that help it as a unit at the back? Yeah, you know, Jack. Jack's been really unfortunate. You know, he's the type of lad. He's for ninety nine percent of the the two games he's played, he's been spot on. He's just made, you know seemed to make one or two mistakes and he gets punished for it. You know, whereas. A lot of players get away with mistakes and, you know, it's not highlighted, but, you know, I felt really sorry for Jack, but of course, Matty Taylor coming in, you know, maybe the little rest has done him good and, you know, he, you know, he was fantastic again, it's good to have that experience, and especially where we are, the dog fight we're in, it's good, nice to look around and see you've got someone like Matty, you know, with all his experience and all his games and, you know, he certainly showed that he brings that calmness with him when he comes into the team. And players in front of you starting to get on the score sheet as well. If they haven't scored already this season, I mean, it, it does feel like players possibly beginning to deliver now. Yeah, you know, as I say, there's no better time. You know, I think, I think Tuesday was our, it was our final must-win game. You know, we've been saying it for a long time, but I think Tuesday was it. So, for the lads to step up then, you know, it was, you know, credit to them, and uh, you know, hopefully that gives them as a striker. I know when I went on that ridiculous run, I know I'm on another one if, without clean sheets, but that ridiculous one, if, you know, it plays in your mind and I can only imagine for strikers it's the same. If you haven't scored a goal in a few games, it must play on your mind because at the end of the day it's what you're paid to do. So, you know, hopefully Danny and obviously Sean scored one and uh, hopefully that gives them a bit of uh, confidence, you know, in the kick on from here. And going to Northampton, I suppose it's, it's if you can replicate that back-to-back -back games and also away from home. Yeah, that's, uh, you know, I think in general we've done quite well away from home. Maybe not points ways, but performance ways we've been, you know, okay. And uh, you know, we've nothing to fear against Northampton. You know, people saying they've nothing to play against, but you know, professional pride. You go, out, you know, no no player goes out on the pitch and doesn't. Well, not in my experience, doesn't give a hundred percent. So, you know, they'll be up for it as much as any other team that we'll be playing against. So. You know, we know we have to go there. We show the same desire and you know, skill that we showed on Tuesday. I think we've got you know more than enough to get the result we need. And you know, it it'd be great, wouldn't it? You know, if we went there and got three points, you know, and to be out of the bottom two two games ago, it'd be fantastic. So the incentives are there. You know, the rewards are there. So we have to go and you know prepare right now for Saturday and go out and do the business. It's the belief changed after that that one win how much has it sort of just transformed everything yeah it must I, I can't really I can only speak for myself I've never given up hope that we wouldn't stay you know I've I've said to people maybe I'm a stupid or I'm a just an you know an optimist that I've never once believed we won't want to get out of trouble you know but yeah, I can only speak for myself you know the belief's always been there so I've never given up it's just the other lads you know as I say Goal scorers, you know, they've got a goal now. I bet that gives them a bit more belief and confidence, and you know, and it can only bode well for the team. And listen, you'd be a liar to say if you've lost four or five in a row, little doubts come in, of course. But you know, hopefully now they're all brushed under the carpet, and the place will be a lot. You know, it's been quite a happy place to be, right? It hasn't been depressed, and which is a good thing. And it's probably the reason we got the result on Tuesday because. If 
the lads had a give up and there wasn't any belief, I don't think we would have went and put that performance on on Tuesday. So, you know, if anything, hopefully it just adds the, the confidence that, that, you know, we already was in place and, you know, hopefully, you know, it helps us in the running. Just everyone singing off the same team sheet, so now you're playing as a unit. That's it, I think you can see that on Tuesday, you know, it was, you know, we were pressing as a team, we were dropping in as a team, we attacked as a team, everything was, it was a proper performance, you know, and, and as I said, you know, the fans, we haven't really given them much to sing about recently, so we quickly got them on side with the early goal and the atmosphere was, you know, I haven't seen anything like that since probably the Swindon game, you know, it was a great atmosphere, you know, and I say, if we do the business on there, the fans will get behind us, you know, we've told the lads that and, you know, that's what we need the next three games. We need to get them going and, you know, we're seeing it plays our advantage. Good man, good luck, thank you. Do you well. think that back to the wall mentality actually helped a bit on Tuesday night? You, you say it was the last sort of muster and game, there were a few out injured, it was sort of a team coupled together a bit. You know, I don't I don't know what it was, but just everything seemed to... I think you've seen in performances, like the last three games before that, there's been bits that have been good and bits mm -hmm. not... I think on Tuesday everything clicked, didn't it? You know, everything was good, the defending, the pressing and then on the ball and on a terrible pitch, you know, I thought some of her play was brilliant, you know, and, and we looked like we wanted to score a goal, I think that was the main thing, we looked like we wanted, even when we didn't score, you know, we were getting shots off, we were working the keeper, we were, and you know, things like that get the crowd going, doesn't it, you know, and I think too many times this year, if I was a fan, I would be asking for money back, you know, and I haven't given them enough, but I think on Tuesday, you know, even as the gaffer said, even if we hadn't a won, at least we'd done it in the right way. If I had a relegated plan like that, we'd, we'd done it you know, in the right way. But, you know, listen, you get your rewards if you be positive, and that's what we need to do. Not been too many games this season, unfortunately, that you can sort of be a spectator of. But the second half, you, you yeah, were, much, weren't yeah, you? You must have enjoyed watching it. I did, yeah. <laughs> it was, wasn't a lot to do, you know. And as I say, it's credit to the lads in front of me. Obviously, the goal was disappointing, you know, it happens. It's... But the bounce back the way we did, you know, and it was it was great. So I'll take I'll take not touching a ball for the next three games as long as we get results. So yeah, it's great. And have you always been as good with your left foot? <laughs> You've been I find you've been something, you know, you don't. People always say, "Oh, well, you kick me left and train and stuff like that," you know, because there might be a time where you yeah. are carrying an injury and you have to. So you know, thankfully, I do always, you know, work on it, and you know, at times it's going to be important over the next couple of games because I probably will have to do it most most games. So. Yeah, it's important to you know work on both feet. Yeah. It's just a just a bit of an ache rather than anything that's too. I don't know. I think well, speaking that we're going to get a scan on at the end of the season, hopefully, and see yeah. see what it actually is. But at the minute, it's just sort of not think about it and get yeah. it. You know, the more you think about it, I think the worse it is in your yeah. head. So. But I imagine you're the kind of bloke that they'd have to kick you off the <laughs> yeah, pitch. Yeah, yeah, Well, like Vonnie on Tuesday, yeah. I think when Vonnie at half time he was in with his hamstring. I think he was. And he heard he was coming off. You want to see him getting? He had the, <laughs> the lads had to pin him down on the bench. So, you know, we need that.